Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice algebra equation solution from here? From what we have here, we can multiply this directly. X times x, we can write that as x square. Then over also 3 times 3, that's 3 square, equals to this side also 3 times 3, that's 3 square, over x times x, that's x square. The next step, we cross multiply f squared times x squared then equals to also here we have 3 squared times 3 squared we are just joining us for the first time this is master Tyro and uh, you are watching us master Tima class do it to subscribe just click on the subscription button so as to have easy access to our videos and it's actually free and if you have been watching us before you are not yet subscribed why not just subscribe and thank you for doing that now let's continue next step here this also follows when we have a times a which can be written as a square same thing multiplying we can as well as x square or square then equals to here also we have three square or square that is here we can take the right hand side to the left hand side and we have x square or square minus 3 square or square then equals to 0 on this side. Then here let's apply when we have a square minus b square which can be written as a plus b into brackets then open bracket a minus b. That is here a standing as x square and b standing as 3 square then what we have here becomes x square plus 3 square into brackets then also open bracket x square minus 3 square close bracket then equals to 0 here then Next step, we have two possible cases here. That is x square plus 3 square equals to 0. Or we have x square minus 3 square equals to 0. Keep watching to the end so as to enjoy this video maximally. Solving on this side, this follows when we have a square plus b square, which is the same thing as a plus b i into brackets the open bracket a minus b i that is what we have here all of this and becomes x plus 3 i into brackets and open bracket x minus 3 i close bracket then equals to zero here that is here we have two possible cases the first one x plus 3 i equals to zero or we have x minus three high equals to zero here and solving on this side this becomes x equals to minus three high which is a complex solution here then also here we have x equals to three high which is also a complex solution here that is we have two complex solutions now then solving the second case here which is x square minus 3 square equals to 0 then this also follows when we have a square minus b square which is same thing as a plus b into brackets the open bracket a minus b that is here yeah, all we have becomes x plus 3 into brackets then open bracket x minus 3 equals to 0 from here that is also we have two possible cases x plus 3 equals to 0 or x minus 3 equals to 0 here on this side we have x equals to minus 3 which is a real solution here. 
Also here we have x equals to 3, which is also a real solution here. That is, we have two real solutions from here. I'm making four solutions together, two real and two complex solutions. And then when we write it out from here, we can say that the first solution, x1, is equals to 3, and we have x2, we have minus 3. Also, the third one, x3, we have 3 high. Then x4, the fourth solution, we have minus 3 high, which are the two real and two complex solutions. Then let's check here if this satisfies this given problem. I hope you have subscribed and you are following us. If you are not done so, just click on the subscription button and follow us. Thank you for doing that. Now, for the first value of x, which is 3, this equation becomes 3 over 3 times 3 over 3. Then is it equals to here? Also, we have 3 over 3 times 3 over 3. Then 3 over 3 here, that's same thing as 1 times also 1. Is it equals to this side as well? 3 over 3, that's 1 times also 1. 1 times 1 here, that's 1, which is equals to 1 times 1, that's 1. That is left hand side is equals to the right hand side. Then x equals to 3 satisfies this given problem and also we substitute the second value of x which is minus 3 and this equation becomes minus 3 over 3 and it's minus 3 over 3 is it equals to 3 over minus 3 times 3 over minus 3 then here we have minus 3 over 3, that's minus 1 times minus 3 over 3, minus 1. Is it equals to 3 over minus 3, also minus 1 times, yeah, minus 1. Sorry, this is minus 1. Then we have minus times minus, that's plus. And 1 times 1, that's 1, which is equals to also minus 1 times minus 1, that's plus 1. Left hand side equals to the right hand side then minus 3 also satisfy this given problem and also we substitute x equals to 3 high that is this equation becomes 3 high over 3 times 3 high over 3 is it equals to 3 over 3 high times 3 over 3 high then 3 high over 3 we can write that as i times also i is it equals to 3 over 3 high we can write that as 1 over high also times 1 over high that is here i times i that's simply i square is it equals to here 1 times 1 that's 1 then over i times i that's i square then we should note that i square same thing as minus 1. That is, here we have minus 1. Is it equals to 1 over minus 1? And here we have minus 1, which is equals to 1 over minus 1 is also minus 1. Left hand side equals to the right hand side. And hence, Three high satisfy this given problem. Also, we check for x equals to minus three high. That is, this equation becomes minus three high over three times minus three high over three. Is this equals to three over minus three high? times 3 over minus 3 high. 
Then minus 3 high over 3, that's simply minus i. Then it's also minus i. Is it equals to 3 over minus 3 high? We can write that as 1 over minus i. Then it's also 1 over minus i. Then minus times minus is plus. i times i, that's i square. Then is it equals to here? Yeah, 1 times 1, 1 over minus i times minus i, also i squared. Then i square here, yeah, that's minus 1. But this minus 1, is it equals to 1 over minus 1? That is here, yeah, minus 1 is equals to 1 over minus 1 is also minus 1. Left hand side equals to the right hand side. And hence, minus 3 high also satisfies this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos. Turn the notification bell on. Share this video. Give it a thumbs up. And put your comments. And see you next class. Bye for now.